I am 10 months recovered from having double jaw surgery to fix severe sleep apnea and other complications. I want to share with you my experience and hopefully this helps you or somebody that you love who might go through this know more what to expect and if the outcome is worth it for them. Let's go. As part of my experience, I want to explain why I had to go through this surgery. I was born with a cleft palate and Pierre Robin sequence. In a sleep study, I had an average of 54 episodes per hour of sleep apnea or times when I stopped breathing. It's every hour, every time I slept, for my entire life. If nothing else, this surgery has revolutionized my life just because I don't have to deal with sleep apnea anymore. This whole process took somewhere around two years and about $100,000. I made another video of the cost breakdown. You can check it out somewhere here if you're curious at getting it. Now that you have some background, let's get into my 10 month experience. I had braces for a little over a year to move my teeth around and I also had two teeth pulled. This was to make room so they could move the jaw appropriately. Once that was done and the teeth were in place, I was able to go in and have surgery. I also had to do a variety of tests, including a sleep study, CT scan, planning the molding for when they're gonna do the surgery, the splints. Let's start from day one. You have surgery, you're in the hospital for two to three days. Once you're released, you're on medication for about two weeks and you do absolutely nothing. I sat on a couch, slept, and that was all I did for two weeks. Weeks two to six were a little bit better. I was still wired, so I had to eat with a syringe, but I was starting to feel a little bit more okay. The hardest was week three to four. By that point, I had lost about 25 pounds and I wasn't very heavy to begin with. And because of how watered down everything had to be when you consume it through a syringe, I was trying my best and still only getting about a thousand calories a day which isn't very much. I was able to start going on walks and around week three, I could return to work my remote software job. And then came week six. I got my splint out and I was able to start easing into normal life. I could start to kind of chew and move into soft foods, but it wasn't until month six when I could say anything I wanted, I could consume. I still couldn't do much physical activity until month three, and then it was only non-contact sports. After I got the splint out, it only took six weeks for me to gain all those 30 pounds back. I went to my normal weight and I've been the same ever since. Those six weeks are super challenging but once you get past that, it only gets better. I tend to be pretty active, so I was happy around month four, I could finally start to run. I couldn't run before that because as my blood pressure would increase, all the wounds and the swelling would hurt a whole bunch, so I couldn't do anything that would increase my heart rate a whole lot because it would just hurt. From month six and onward, I would say my life is just completely transformed. I finally got to the point where I could consume anything, I could do any activity that I wanted, and I was finally having the full benefits of jaw surgery. If you're curious more about recovery and what I went through those first couple weeks, there's other videos here you can check out that may help you if that's what you're going through. Now, at month six, I started to realize my nose was way more open than before. This was an unintended consequence because they had moved the mandible and the maxilla forward. It ended up opening up my nose a lot more so I could breathe easier. I didn't notice this during all the swelling, but by month six, it was a huge difference. That wasn't planned, but for me, huge. It also took a little while for me to not be self-conscious of my new self. You get used to how you look and you really like it. So when it changes, whether it's for better or for worse, it's really weird to get used to how you're a different person. And I think by month 10, I'm finally used to that, but I definitely was not for a while. Now let's get to the important things, my sleep. It's a little tough to notice, but you can see a little ledge here. This is where they made an incision and they moved my jaw forward 10 centimeters. They also did the same up here. This allowed my airway to more than double in size, which allowed me to sleep without it closing. I used to wake up from sleep apnea and feel like I just passed time from when I went to bed to when I woke up. It's like a loading screen in a video game. You get to the next place, but you don't feel any better. Afterward, I feel genuinely rested when I sleep. I still have bad nights. I think everybody does. As a whole, my mood is better. I feel smarter. I'm happier. I no longer have thoughts of wanting to not continue to live, which did happen when I was going through severe sleep apnea. I also now feel much more confident in how I look. Overall, it was completely worth it. And if I was in the same situation I was before, I would 100% tell myself to do it again but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Let's get to the cons. First, I still have numbness around a lot of my gums, especially at the bottom in the front. When people go to the dentists and they poke around their gums and they say it hurts, I went to the dentist and I could not feel anything. It was just numb. Next con, reduced mobility. Even at 10 months and I've been stretching as much as I can, I still don't have full mobility the same way as before. It just takes a long time for the muscles, ligaments, tendons to fully regain that mobility. Another annoying thing, I just got these braces off a couple weeks ago. I had those braces for 10 months after my surgery in addition to about 14 months before I had it. I didn't need braces for any other reason other than they wanted to adjust teeth for surgery. My teeth were fine before. Two years of braces, 
Another con was the mental aspect when it came to food. Because I couldn't have anything and lost about 30 pounds in the six weeks my mouth was sealed, I rebounded and had a really unhealthy relationship with food for about two to three months after I got the splint out. And it took a few months of bouncing back and forth before I finally felt comfortable and not like I had to consume as much as possible because I was gonna starve. I'd say by about month five, six, I was completely good, but that was really tough mentally for a few months. Another big con was exercise. That's a huge part of my life. It helps me think better, I feel better, I sleep better, and I couldn't have that for a couple months. And even when I could, I had to have limited abilities. That was a big con and contributed to the mental challenge of the whole process. So there is my 10 month recap of double jaw surgery. I hope it helps. Ask any question you have in the comments. I will respond to every single one. That's a fact. If you want to learn more, I'm sure there's videos here you can check out. You're awesome. See ya.